At the beginning of May, Blaine Sims Elementary School Student Council began a drive to collect cereal boxes to donate to those in need. Students in all grades were asked to bring in cereal to help reach their goal of 400 boxes. So these are all the cereal boxes we collected and at the end we're going to tip them like dominoes and then we're going to send them to uh, Blessings in a Backpack. Um, basically you had to bring in a bo uh, cereal, you couldn't have bags, it had to be boxes and they couldn't be opened. So um, we got a couple from the kindergarten class. Miss Stewart started it uh, over there. Let's give credit to her. <laughs> Miss Stewart and Mrs. Heck both started it. Um, there are student council leaders. They thought, hey, why don't we do something else for those in need? So we decided, hey, why not? We started working on getting them all collected May 1st, actually. We started collecting them May 1st, then we ended May 10th. And then ever since May 10th, we've been like putting all the cereal boxes together, counting them up. The goal was to get 400, and if we got 400, we got 422. Um, 450, really? Oh, that's the last I saw was 422. I stand corrected. If we got 400 at least, we would be doing a cereal box domino. We saw last year this cool initiative where another school in another state decided to collect cereal boxes for the needy and then have a special surprise for their school and do a domino effect with it after they collected the cereal boxes. So we pulled our student council together. They made signs. Um, we told the students if we raised 400 or if we brought in 400 boxes, then um, the school would have a special surprise. The school does not know what the surprise is, so they are all curiously waiting. Probably um, know now. Half of them probably know <laughs> to now. see yeah. the boxes fall and we are donating all the boxes back to our community for our blessings in a backpack program who feeds um, needy kids in our district three two It was the first and last time the serial drive was held in this building. Students will be moving into a brand new building at the start of the 2023-24 school year. From Blight Sims Elementary School, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ONTV News.